Diana Ball, AKA Matandianone, AKA D-Ball, the OG king of mass. Ready to blow up, literally? Let's talk about it. Diana Ball's story starts in the 1950s with Dr. John Ziegler. Ziegler was an American physician who watched Soviet weightlifters dominate with testosterone at the 1954 World Championships. Determined not to be outdone, he collaborated with pharmaceutical giant Siva to develop something even more powerful. Enter Diana Ball. Ziegler provided it to the U.S. Olympic weightlifting team at the 1960 Rome Olympics, ushering in the era of steroids and kicking off decades of swollen singlets and questionable liver health. Chemically, Diana Ball is a testosterone derivative that's been 17 alpha alkylated for oral use. This means it survives liver metabolism while also smacking your liver enzymes upside the head. As a testosterone derivative, Diana Ball can be metabolized by both 5 alpha reductase and aromatase. The good news, it has a very low affinity for 5 alpha reductase, meaning it rarely converts into methyl 1 testosterone. Levels remain negligible, sparing you from additional androgenic side effects. The bad news, Diana Ball loves aromatase. The synthetic estrogens produced by it are resistant to natural estrogen metabolism, significantly increasing your risk for gynecomastia and fluid retention. In short, you might need an aromatase inhibitor with D-Ball, unless you want to test your luck with a C-cup. So why did lifters put up with all of this? Because D-Ball delivers fast onset strength and muscle gains like almost nothing else in the gym. Users see their lifts and weight jump within days. Explosive strength gains help crush plateaus and massive muscle fullness and pumps due to huge water retention. Hello moon face. Diana Ball famously swells faces into full moons thanks to rapid fluid gains. Perfect for filling shirts, not so great for facial aesthetics. Classic power building wisdom made the test deck of D-Ball stack legendary. This trifecta delivered massive size, strength, and water bloat, pushing lifts into the stratosphere. D-Ball's rapid action also makes it perfect to kickstart mass cycles, packing on size quickly while slower injectables build momentum. Unfortunately, the party ended in 1982 when SIBA discontinued Diana Ball amid regulatory pressure. By 1985, the FDA officially revoked approval, ending legit U.S. production. Technically, Dianabol remains a Schedule III substance, meaning compounding pharmacies could legally produce it, but good luck finding anyone willing to do so. Bottom line, Dianabol means rapid explosive gains and equally explosive estrogenic sides. If you're using it, consider an aromatase inhibitor mandatory. Monitor your liver closely and maybe buy stock in Lasix. That's Dianabol. Huge strength, huge gains, huge face. Proceed accordingly.